A simple question like this must have a simple answer. Why do we laugh? Because something is funny. Well, yes, but consider this. Babies laugh when tickled, but only when done by their mothers and not strangers. Children laugh during pillow fights even when there is nothing funny. And we also laugh when we are amazed. In the opposite end, we also use humor to say things that we normally couldn't, especially when dealing with subjects such as race, sex, politics and religion. Then there is dark humor that pushes the envelope further. And we also have people who use humor and laughter to deal with grief. So laughter isn't really a physiological reaction to something we perceive as funny. There's more. And it isn't all sunshine and rainbows. Laughter is designed for social situations. Hence the laugh tracks. <laughs> Number two, laughter produces sounds. And throughout the animal kingdom, making sounds is a form of communication. Number three, laughter is used by all five great apes, namely orangutans, gorillas, bonobos, chimpanzees, and us humans to signal safety. A clown tripping over during his routine, also called slapstick comedy, can invoke laughter. But our grandmother tripping over should not. It might if she laughs first, in which case her laughter acts as a signal that she is safe and our return laughter will indicate that we are relieved. And number four, it is used as a play signal. Max Eastman in his 1936 novel The Enjoyment of Laughter said, The next time you are called upon to entertain a baby, I'll tell you what to do. Laugh and then make a perfectly terrible face. If the baby is old enough to perceive faces, he will laugh too. But if you make a perfectly terrible face without laughing, he is more likely to scream with fright. For the baby to laugh, he has to be in a mood to play. And laughter is a play signal. Growing up, every mammal uses play as a means to learn life skills. As boys, we have engaged in wrestling and everything is fine as long as we are laughing. When the laughter stops, that's when the play fight could escalate to a real fight. As adults, we use humor and laughter to diffuse tense situations. For example, when we crack jokes with each other, we follow it up with a just kidding. Or maybe when we write a text message, we follow it up with a wink symbol. Number five, laughter is used to speak uncomfortable truth. Professional humorists from the court jesters to modern day comedians have always held an important position in our society. Their role isn't merely about making people laugh, it is about challenging norms and making us think. So besides being triggered by something funny, these five factors also trigger laughter in us. And that is how they have played an important part in our evolution. And with that note, I wish all of you a humorous day.